I'm Benedict uh, Brydern, and I'm originally from Germany. I came to the United States about 22 uh, years ago, and I studied at USC. But I finished my studies in Germany, so I went to the conservatory, and I'm a violinist. So that was my first instrument, and I also picked up composition already as a teenager. And I currently live in sunny California in Santa Monica. I do also a lot of commercial music. So I like the concert music, and I've written a bunch of different pieces, chamber music, orchestra, things. But I also do commercial work. I've done feature films, uh, video games. So I'm, I'm on... My foot is in all kinds of different places and, and my mind too. You get a movie, you have a month, you've got to compose it, you've got to orchestrate it, you've got to record it, you've got to mix it, you've got to finalize the files and send them out. So that was not the scary part at all. I'm very much at home with those kind of things. I actually like assignments. And if somebody calls me up, even commissions, and they say, listen, we have a wind ensemble, but it has uh, three French horns in it, I might actually get excited about that, right? So, no, I love that. I think it was actually, uh, it was a nice surprise having a clarinet because I haven't written for that instrument for a while in a chamber setting. So I like it. it, it for me, it was an inspiring and, and great thing to have actually a guide. As some people think we composers just maybe walk down at the beach and then the great melody comes. Yes, that can happen, but usually it's hard work. So you start actually with maybe a progression or you have a little idea and then, you know, you develop and you use all your tools and you think, and then the inspiration kicks in. The longer you work on a piece, the more things can change. And often uh, things get actually worse, right? Because you overthink. You might have a great idea and it's a great concept, but then you start doing those fine tunings and micromanaging. And often I discover, I go back to the original. I might just spend another two weeks working on something, but then I say, you know what? No, no, no. Let's just look at number one, square one. And then I go back. You have to move on. You can't just linger on one measure. I think it, it again, it propels you. It's, it, keeps you moving, right? And that actually creates some spontaneous music as well, because again, you cannot overthink too much. You've got to do it. And I think that's why those pieces might be different than if you spend five months on the piece. COVID related, what, you know, the fear, the, the, the anger maybe about the system or, you know, hope, all that. I try to reflect on that and see, you know, how is that musically? You want to do and, and get better and share your music with people. And the greatest for me is when strangers come up after a concert or email me and say, I heard that piece and it's just something happened when I heard it. You know, those are the greatest moments.